everybody, here for another strategy for the July 2022 Volume 1 Very Difficult Ambuscade. This one is the Sacrifice Mage Strat. In this strategy, you are not required to use a Red Mage, and you will see that our Red Mage really didn't do that much in this fight. Our setup was Red Mage, Scholar, Dancer, Corsair, Samurai, and Bard. In this strategy, we are sacrificing our Scholar, but you could use either a white mage or another red mage as the sacrifice instead. Standard buffs with core rolls and bard songs were used, and our scholar provided region and phalanx for all of the damage dealers. Each DD will grab one of the three main goblins, so that would be the Ravenger, the Dawn, and the Deathbringer. In our case, we did have the Dancer tank the Dawn, the Samurai held the Ravenger, and the Corsair took the Deathbringer, and we'll go into more details of why we decided to pick these three. I just want to pause here for a moment though. You can kill these goblins in any order. You are not required to kill them in a specific order. If you do kill the Dawn first, the Furious and Baby Bombers will no longer spawn, which stops your mages from being sacrificed over and over again. Otherwise, you can kill the Ravenger and the Deathbringer before moving on to the Dawn if the mage is okay with dying more often, or if this helps speed up your strategy at all. Also, if your group isn't worried about skill change, you could bring a red mage to bind one of the adds to free up an additional DD to assist with taking out one of the goblins faster. Okay, let's get back to this fight. Each DD fighting a specific goblin will need to be aware of their specific characteristics. The Dawn is the Red Mage and will cast buffing spells, including Ice Spikes. Sadly, Dispel has a low success rate on removing this buff, but a Bard can easily remove them with Magic Finale. We kept our Bard on the Dawn to help keep it dispelled. During timed increments, the Dawn will summon either a Furious Bomber or the Baby Bomber to go after the specific mage on the list. In our case, it would go after the Scholar before the Red Mage, as this has a higher priority on the Goblin list. Our Bard was also in charge of keeping Goddess Hybnus up on the Scholar in case they were not able to keep up re-raise. The Dawn will use Chain Spell and spam single target nukes on the person that is currently tanking this mob, so it is best to have someone with magic resistance set. The Deathbringer was being killed by our Corsair. Even though this was a Dark Knight and it did cast Dread Spikes, the spikes were not scary enough even in a non-DT set. It would cast Break, which can be scary and need to be aware of in case this does go off, so that way either a White Mage or a Scholar can remove it before being blown up by a Bomber. This is the easiest of the three goblins to solo, so just be aware in case you're building a different set for this. The Ravenger is a warrior goblin and was being killed by our samurai. I apologize we don't have a video of the samurai killing the goblin, but it is in the background of Claire's screen on the right. This goblin does have a high counter rate and a high crit chance, making it much easier for the Sam to manage comparably to the Corsair that is using dual wield. This goblin will use Mighty Strikes and prefers to spam Goblin Rush during this time, which deals high amounts of damage if not ready for it. Once our Corsair killed the Deathbringer, they moved over to the Encanter, which is the Black Mage. This Black Mage does like to cast Sleep Gut and uses Goblin Dice in order to flick different status ailments in an area of effect. During certain percentages of the Dawn's HP, it will run towards any goblin and have a chance of removing any status ailments on the encanter itself and any goblins that are within its range. Once the encanter was dead, we killed the remaining amount of the dawn, which was roughly 40%. This fight took us roughly the same amount of time as our red mage bind strategy, which was roughly about 5 minutes. I hope this also helps you in case you don't have a red mage for your fight. Take care everyone! Bye bye